Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a web view in your application in Xcode, in Xcode 5. So first off, this is going to be a few part uh, series, which is going to be searching the web by typing in a URL, and also it's going to be... Um, uh, just a regular web view. So let's get started. So you open your Xcode and click single, click create new project and single view application. Hit press next, and I'm gonna make this for the iPhone, and the we're just gonna name it web view web uh web view tutorial. So we can have all this stuff. I'm just gonna name this view class just just so you know what I'm talking about so press next and hit create now the first thing you want to do once this loads up and everything is select this and uncheck these two and we have to go to our main storyboard because that's the new thing in Xcode 5 so on our main storyboard just indexing and loading up my project which may take some time. Just loading it up. Okay, we're ready. So now we can uh, scroll down to our UI web view and just drag this in. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this short. Oops. I'm going to make this smaller. About right there. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to delete this. I need to put something. I need to put the toolbar first. I'll tell you why in a little bit. So, actually, you know what? I'll tell you right now. Just drag in a, a couple of buttons. Actually, you need four buttons in total. So, once you have your four buttons, uh, just I like to space them out makes it nice and neat so once they're all spaced out you click the first button go to your um, thing and then you click uh, fast hold on uh, rewind and that's like your back button and then our this one is fast forward that's your forward button and then this one is going to be our refresh button and then our last one is going to be our stop button okay now we can drag in our web view so our first web view see how it fits into the screen so what we're going to do first is select our uh, back button control drag and click go back and our second button is go forward third button is reload and then our fourth one is stop loading okay so now we have our basic layout now we need to go into our assistant editor I need to change this to my controller.h and I'm gonna do that and now I need Control drag your web view on into your view control dot h and just name it web view. Hit connect and that's all the coding we need in our view controller dot h. Now we head over to our view controller dot m where we uh, synthesize our web view and then under this view did load, just delete this and center a few times. And what we need to do is type in ns url, let's call this url, so it's equal space, uh, bracket, ns url, url with string, at, here's the string, and then we type in http, uh, colon, slash, slash, and then I'm just going to do google.com. There now we have our now we type in ns 
URL request. We're just gonna call this URL request bracket um ns URL request request with URL URL. Okay. Now we type in web view load request. We type in URL request. So now that's some coding that's done. And actually that's basically all we need for now. For our just simple web view. So let's go ahead and run it. Save and run. And so this may take some time and it may not depending on, you know, the Xcode version and all that kind of stuff. So we just let this load. Okay, here we are. Oops. Oh, I gotta change the screen. So let's hold on. Hardware, iPhone, whatever. Okay, so here we have it. Oh, wow. This is like totally not there. Hold on. Yeah, so we have our Google, and I mean, if I had a bigger screen, I would have showed you the, you know, things, like our buttons at the bottom, but this is it, so we can type in, yeah, okay, I think there's something wrong with this, hold on, let me try reloading, let me load, ah, yep, there we go, that was a problem, knew it, okay, we gotta run this again, we done. There we go. Now it's gonna load. It's just glitches for me since I have a 13 inch. Um, and uh, to touch this, it would be best if I had a 15 inch. So, yeah, it's kind of, you know, weird. Okay, looks like it's still not loading. But for you, it's gonna have a toolbar right here. And that's gonna have your buttons, and then you can reload it. So, for here, for this Google Play, I'm just gonna type in youtube.com search and then yeah I can just do that so that's it and thanks for watching the first part bye guys